Dude, you suck at this game. <laughs> Whatever, man. Please remember your card. Please remember your card. Okay, fine. Give me the fucking card. Give me, give me the card. Card. Give me the card. Yeah, fucking finally. Hey, guys. Welcome back. I'm just chilling in the drugstore. Um, getting some money out. And, of course, the machine decides to try to eat my card. It's fine. Half his whole time. Hi, come on. Come in. What are you looking for? So I wanna, I'm going to go ahead and uh, purchase a cheap bracelet. When we last left off, um, we defeated... The Frank, the Frank Mobile, and we're gonna go ahead and get some more uh, 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 cheap charm because it's extra defense, and I think we probably could use it. So there you go, and off we go. So now that we've defeated Frank, the next thing to do is to try to do what he said to do, and was to go and check out uh, the giant step. Now, getting permission is never easy, but you can't leave on it without trying to visit Giant Step. Exactly. On its paranormal hotspot, a picturesque picnic point, Ness has to fight his way into, the sanction or into his sanctuary, but things won't be any easier for you. On it requires all visitors to Giant Step to file a permit on City Hall, which sits at expensively manicured grounds in the north of the arcade. Mayor, let them just run around, do whatever they want. I'm here to protest. He's talking about the uh, sharks, I think. I'm actually not paying attention to what he's saying. I'm, cause I'm stupid. Since you beat up the shark, you're the talk of the town! Mayor Perkle is waiting for you upstairs. Thank you, darling. I'll just make my way up there. When Ness socked, socked it to Frank, this game would become the pride of on it. It's the moment. You might find another way to impress on its public service. Hey, 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 it's B.H. Perkle! It's nice to meet you. You beat up the town bullies. I really appreciate it. Pumped them out big time. Licked their butts, bit their heads off, spit in their eyes, and made them wet their pants. Things adults can't do to kids. That's what other kids are here for, to, to punch them. So, because we can't do it. Oh, you want to get in the entertainment shack? Something great to you, no problem, I can help. However, if I can a dangerous situation, don't ask me to take any responsibility. I'll be able to avoid responsibility, right? Spoken like a true politician. I suppose so. You're a smart kid. There's the key to the shack. Alright, that was easy. Onwards! Alright. Here we are. Now, to head to the entertainment shack. Now, I didn't really go over this in the previous parts, but you do actually want to go around and talk to people. Like, we'll go up here and talk to this guy. Let's see what he's doing. I'm in a really foul mood. Aww. Why? Because the mayor doesn't like me. I just think I'll kick back for a while. It just might take me a couple of hours to sign this paper, Snicker Snort. That's a weird name, Mr. Snicker Snort. I don't know why you'd have to sign the. I'm sorry, that was a dumb joke. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, no. Go around and talk to people in this town because uh, there's a lot of. Um, there's a lot of interesting dialogue with some of the characters around here. Um, there's some funny stuff and, you know, some breaking of the fourth wall. It's really funny, so it's very worth worth your time to talk to peeps in this game. And they try to emphasize that as time goes on. Anyways, we got to go to the shack. This is the entertainment shack. This looks like a lovely, lovely place. Doesn't it ever. Gosh darn. Let's talk to see what this guy wants to do. Yeah, it's just not locked by the city hall. We can't use it. The reaction was close to the punk named Frank. Well, oh, the reaction was because of punk named Frank and then trash the place. What a drag. We can't even change our clothes and hotels are too expensive. We can't afford $35 a person. That's like 70 bucks. That is a lot of money. I heard there was big footprint on the hilltop behind the shack. I haven't seen it myself. It's just a rumor. I am convinced that it is there because one ma a man who stabbed me said it would be. And who am I to question the logic of someone who has stabbed me? Let's go ahead and use the key. And it makes a very convincing, very un convinc convincing uh, unlocking noise. Wow, you opened the door. All right. All right. Here's a check it. Good luck. It's a travel charm. Uh, this actually prevents paralysis, I believe. Is that what that does? Travel charm. Must be equipped in your body. It protects you from... Oh, yeah. Pa paralysis. And this is just defense, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it just increases your defense. But cheap, but effect, but if very effective. Wow, yeah, he really messed up this shack. I don't know what he did to that bed. 
Oh, oh, it smells awful. Oh, it smells like sadness and ejaculate. Ew. 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 Anyways, welcome to the cave. The wonderful, wonderful cave. This cave has inhabitants of all sorts of different monsters, including these little dot things that are following me. What is that? These fleas? What are... Okay. And here we are against our first uh, slugs. Attack slugs, you know. As you do. Attack slugs have 30 hit points. Nine eye fence. Nine eye fence. Nine offense and two defense. Chances are you'll be able to one-shot them. They are really annoying, though. Because they come in packs and it takes fucking decades to kill them. But anyways. Attack slugs put up a brave front... But Ness wasn't afraid to squash these foot soldiers with his back. Not his feet, though, because that would be, like, a really annoying thing to clean off, I think. It has a chance of dropping a bomb, which I've never managed to get to do before. Giant Step is just justly famous for the biodiversity, which is almost impossible to see with the naked eye. With a magnifying glass, you might find everything just looks like a tiny black spot without a magnifying glass. As far as anyone can remember, on its, on it, parents have kept their children safe from the simple rhyme. Slugs by the dozen, keep at it, cousin. Ants on each side, run, clear, and hide. Man, this is interesting. I love this little book. Now we have Rowdy Mouse. I always read. He looks very different in the book. He has 36 hit points, 7 offense, 20 defense. His red-nosed reign of terror came to an end when he slipped away from his smash -up. Yeah, this guy has a very high crit chance. He has like a 1 in 3 chance of critting you whenever he hits you, it seems. But I also have a very high chance of critting you. Apparently. Damn straight. Don't worry. Oh, I just... And then here we have a map. I have a map here. We'll probably still get lost, though. These damn mice! Holy shit! Yeah, I'm gonna get into a lot of battles here. I could already tell you right now. I might actually start cutting them out. Especially if I run into more slugs. Because it just takes forever to deal with. <sighs> the Traveler's Entertainment Shack has been ransacked. And Ness is sure... No, yeah. was sure he knew the culprit. He recognized the whittling, the whittling anywhere, that whittling anywhere. My goodness. Frank Fly had been tough, had been tough for as long as Ness could remember. So that would, that would imply that he knew him? That's weird. Interesting. Interesting. Fucking mice everywhere, man. And um, Frank Fly had been a tough as long as I could remember, but something about him was different about him. Never thought behind the arcade, he looked in his eyes, it was ruthless. It wasn't even human. So basically it's saying that he was, he was being controlled. It's fine. Take that, bitch! That's right. If you get one of these slugs, like, on one and one you'll just automatically kill him. So that's handy. Oh, yay. Oh, yay. Yay. Ah, uh, great. Wonderful. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Um... That was not any. F oh, you gotta. Son of a bitch! More slugs! It's only a couple of them this time, that's fine. I don't even care. I don't even care anymore. Look, they are so annoying, but they do give you a decent amount of hit points. Hit points? Experience. So, I mean, that's something. Hey, we got leveled! Yay! Oh, we lived the power of Psy Sness. Wow! We learned the power from our favorite thing. Which is Super Nintendo. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Hit you with my bat. You dead now, bruh. All right, we're gonna make our way. Making our way downtown, walking. Damn stupid mouse! I'm gonna eat them. Okay. I'm hope. Oh great. No, there's another one. There's his buddy. Apparently, he wanted in on some action. All right, that was easy enough. Oh fuck! Oh, my God, are you kidding me? Was that your cousin? Can I kill your cousin back? You just, you just, are you, are you, are you quantum? Are you everywhere? Ah, oh, God. Real tired of these mice already. All right, let's go ahead and eat a bread roll. I did restock on hamburgers. Now in that room to the left, it is just empty. So I, I wouldn't worry about it very much. 
Um, let's see. Uh, it was left of another inner gem inside the caverns behind the giant steps. Something dark was at work. If only Buzz Buzz were here. I know, right? If we had Buzz Buzz, we would be in luck. Um, also, we could try to get stuff to despawn here. If you go out of the way and go back up, boom. And, yeah, no, I don't want to deal with that. I'm, no, I'm not going to deal with that. Just screw that. We could show our new ability off, but I kind of want to save our PSI power. No. Um, no, I'll, sh shit, that was a mistake. Good lord. I am real tired of slugs. Real tired of them. Man, how'd they even get up here? How do they reside? Slugs require moisture. This cave doesn't look moist at all. Oy. Son of a biscuit. I'm also really tired of the noise. Oh, look at that. Yeah. But it is, this, the crits do feel amazing, though. They do feel great. They feel real nice. Okay. Now, I think... Yeah, there should be a door. Yeah, there's a door right here. There's uh, another little mousey friends. Yay. Okay. I think there is a yeah, cold remedy. Hot damn. All right. See if we can avoid any. Oh, you gotta. Send it damn bush. Son of a. Okay. I'm real tired of slugs. Jill done with. The I've never had this many slug encounters. Skip sandwich. I need some health. Okay. How much health is it gonna give me? How much? Okay. Six hit points. Great. Gravy. Uh, I guess we'll just have to use this. I think, yeah, there is a place where we can restock on some psychic power. Now that I remember it. We didn't have the PP to use that ability anyway. That's too bad! We're gonna see the power of magical Super Nintendo. Yeah. Anyway, uh, this here's a black Antoid. I think they're adorable. I would like a plushy version of it, please. Uh, black Antoids knew nearly as much about Psy Life Up as Ness did, but he wiped them out with his question mark ability that I can't use yet, the uh, SNES ability. Uh, he has 34 hit points, 14 defense, uh, offense, and 13 defense. They like to summon allies, too. They don't say anything about that, uh, but they do. But that's fine. Who cares? They're ants. I don't mind being ants agonized. <laughs> yeah, am I right? <laughs> They're not much of antagonists. Yeah, okay. Go slow. Go, okay. I'm having a little bit of See if we can go around them here, because it's okay. Well, okay, let's see if we can just avoid them. Maybe if we get caught in the rocks. Oh, god damn it, I didn't even see those. Never seen slugs move that fast, by the way. That is ridiculous. There must be slime just everywhere on the floor, because they just zip around. Alright, we're outside. Oh, there's a butterfly. Okay. Now, there is a trick with a few of the butterflies. I don't think it applies to all of them, but some of them will actually respawn when you come back in. Let's make sure, do, let's use it again. Might as well. Just to refill our health. There's the giant step, by the way. We've made it. Just can't get up there yet for some reason. Could just climb it. Do a breath of the wall. See, he respawns. Yay! Uh, you actually don't have to go back in the door. You could just go to the right and then back over. Anyways, I think that's probably enough for today. We're level 9. That's pretty good. Some good stuff. You can hardly tell that I recorded this in post. I did a pretty good job, right? My audio failed again, guys. Uh, we're going to go ahead and end it. Uh, when we come back, we'll go through the cave and we'll be back in the present times, given hopefully Audacity doesn't fail again. So until next time, guys, I will see you later.